Pat Astown to say the pace is always fast would be a serious understatement. CNC operator Quentin Henderson is working through some challenges while implementing a new technique for creating LED logos. Oh man, that's a problem. Yeah, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go back to what I had it before. So, there's one piece here, okay. one piece, and then the top piece. And then, so this is the bottom piece. This would be where light goes in. Oh, is that like a channel for the lighting or something? Yeah, okay. and then this part is the middle part. This would be starting and you can see this is a cutout. CNC is basically taking CAD drawings and getting it to where a machine can cut it on a flat scale. Because obviously we're drawing three-dimensional things and we need to cut it out of a two-dimensional plane. So this is the AlphaCam software that we use to apply the tools and the tool paths to the material that we're going to be cutting. We also will tell it the specific depths of how deep to cut it. So the first thing we're gonna do is apply the tool directions for the geometries. Select the tool that we would use for it, which would be the eighth inch bit, do a rough and finish cut, tell it how deep I need it to go, which would be a total of one inch. Go through and select every single hole throughout the whole thing, right click in it with the tool path. Quinton has worked through his issues and is producing a quality finished product. But Randall has just discovered a layout issue on his project that needs immediate adjustment. So this is the layout of where these logos are gonna be going. The big one is the one that we're worried about because it crosses over three different panels. So with these standoffs, we want to make sure that it's not hitting one of those panels. So we can see this one's clear, but on the A here, we need to move this. We do this every time for logos, especially when they cross multiple panels like this. So we need to make sure, oh, is it going to land? Is it going to be all good and in an open space? These projects have so many moving parts that communication from the beginning all the way to completion is critical. Had I not known where this logo was going to be landing, I wouldn't know that I needed to change the placement of these holes. But sometimes the serendipity of a challenge becomes our friend. Do you have a little tool that threads on here and stops that, you, that can be spun in instead of hammered in? I know you have one. Yes. We're on a couple of the letters, this hole where the standoff goes was actually missing. He came up with a, a little jig so you have your standoff and he had a little jig with a screw so the screw is welded with a set screw and a little flange. This solution will be used going forward and will actually be a serious time saver in the end. It's the best way to go moving forward It makes sure that you're not messing up the material, you're getting these input straight. What the client says goes. It's just like in the restaurant industry, our quality of what we put out is top tier. You know, we're a five-star Michelin restaurant. We gotta make sure that we're doing the best because we wanna be the best. Once it's actually down at the show site and fully built, people get so excited about seeing what we've done. That right there is priceless.